Good morning, everyone. How's it going? It's a beautiful Saturday morning. I'm going to take you guys on a quick uh, drive. I know a lot of people have been asking me to send a quick video on this, so I'm going to take you guys for a quick drive. Uh, I'm going to be leaving Elysio to give you guys who know the area a little scale. I'm going to be leaving Elysio and driving all the way down to the end of Playa Las Baenas. Okay, and once I get to the end of Playa Las Baenas. I'm going to be taking you into Bonita Village. Now, Bonita Village is where we have purchased our dream home. I'm going to be going up there. I'm going to be checking the property. I'll see how the construction's going. But I'm going to take you for a beautiful scenic drive along Playa Las Baenas, all the way up to the condo. Okay? So, you guys are truly going to enjoy it. This is probably one of the most magical drives I've ever been on in my life. And I'm so fortunate and lucky to be able to say that that is going to be my drive home to and fro every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started for you guys, okay? Enjoy the drive. Talk to you in a little bit. All right guys, let's uh, begin this drive down. Beautiful Playa Poppy. So on the right hand side, as you can see, there's uh, Playa Poppy. That's the view that we're blessed with every single morning when we wake up and head off to the gym uh, or Elle gets up and we head, head off to school. On the left hand side, you're going to see Elysio. This is currently where we are staying uh, for the past few months. We're going to be here until our villa is completed. That's forecast for August or September. So that's Elysio right there on the left. We have places for sale in there as well. We can fill you in on those. Okay, so you got Playa Poppy on the right. It's absolutely just a mesmerizing drive. Uh, got a great walking path there. You can run all the way along Playa Poppy right to uh, Punta Poppy. That's a run I try to do every day. On the left hand side, there's numerous restaurants. Uh, pizza restaurants is a great spot called Il Lugar. Uh, you would really enjoy that. Uh, we get a veggie burger there often. So here's a little area on the right where a lot of the local people hang out. They have a beer, they chill out, get the music going. It's a fun little vibe there. On our way to Playa Las Baenas, uh, Bonita Village. So as you drive down this direction, you're gonna see how the road splits. It's a one way. So you wanna be very cautious here. You wanna slow down, let traffic merge. Initially, it seems kind of complex, but it's very simple. It just, uh, it works. Everybody's aware and pays attention when they're driving. Looks like people don't know what they're doing, but they actually really do. Uh, important thing is that they're paying attention. On the left-hand side is uh, Industry Pizza. I would say uh, one of the best pizza spots in the city. On the right, there is Elle's favorite gelato shop. Okay, and as we continue on forward, on the right-hand side, you're gonna see a cool little park uh, right on the ocean. Amazing for families. You see a lot of kids playing there, hanging out in the evenings. It's a very calm, uh, zen kind of playground, as you can see. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see the police station right there. Uh, I have to say the police here are very helpful. They really uh, do a good job. You can see all the police vehicles, uh, brand new, you know, ni nice trucks. They have, uh, they're on bikes a lot. Really helpful. Don't be scared of them. They really do take care of the tours. Up top there, you can see there's a nightclub. Uh, I haven't been there yet. They haven't opened up yet. Uh, heard good things about it. On the right-hand side is one of my favorite breakfast spots. I go there every single day. It's called Tropic Bowl. Uh, our good friends own that. Highly, highly recommend it. They have vegan options and all that cool stuff. So you could either go right, we're going right, but you could go left. That takes you into the city. One-way road, takes you left, takes you all the way down. We'll do that drive for you another day. But as you can see right in front, these this is called Porto, Porto Plaza, okay? A developer created two ships uh, that is full of uh, hotels on the top and commercial on the main floor. Uh, in between the two ships, there's a beautiful courtyard with a coffee shop and multiple coffee shops. Uh, just a really great spot to hang out and uh, we do some meetings over there. Uh, my good friend Tony, we often uh, catch up over there and touch base, but as you can see, both ships right there. And in the middle there is uh, the different restaurants and coffee shops real italian feel there so if you're italian that's probably where you're going to find yourself hanging out over there the developer's italian and he's created a real cool thing right on the water as you can see there's the ocean there's the turquoise blue 
playa poppy is back there now so now we're coming up on pueblo pescadores this is an infamous uh, landmark for Las Serenas. You see it on a lot of videos. Amazing restaurants, uh, different vibe, a lot of fish. This was the original fish market in Las Serenas. This is where it all began. All of these places, right now it's seven in the morning, so none of them are open, but uh, they all open up right to the ocean. Uh, all have patios and you can just enjoy a magical evening. Uh, well, actually they open up for lunch, so you can enjoy a magical lunch there. Mosquito on the left hand side. Amazing operators. They're expanding at a rapid pace. Uh, they have three or four venues here in Las Trenas. They just opened up a boutique hotel in uh, Santa Domingo. These guys really know what they're doing. World class organization. Can't say enough uh, great stuff about them. We were actually there last night with a couple from New York and uh, enjoyed dinner. Our gym is actually off to the left there. Here is the, it's called Sestur, that's the tourist police. They're there specifically to make sure you are safe. So you're gonna see these posts throughout Las Terrenas. Uh, they got one in uh, Bonita as well, uh, but Sestur, C-E-S-T-U-R. Specifically, they're tasked with keeping tourists safe. So that's always uh, reassuring and nice to know. So now we've entered the beautiful drive out to Bonita Village. Cobblestone Road, as you can see, you can see the ocean off on the right. I have never experienced a better drive in my life, to be honest. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but I'm on my quad, and uh, so it's a little bumpy, more so due to my quad than the road. Yeah, but just soaking that view. And one thing I want you to pay attention to, as we get closer and closer to the end of this drive, the beach incrementally gets more and more beautiful. You'll see what I mean, it widens up, the sand gets lighter, uh, it's just, it's magical. But pay attention to that, you'll see the shift happening. Something I point out to all my clients. Very often in the mornings, especially when we move down to the end of uh, this drive, at Bonita Village. I do the run from there to Pueblo Pescadores. It's a beautiful run. So you're going to start to see different restaurants and shops. I'm going to try to slow down here and point them out. There's a restaurant I often stop in on at lunch and uh, my favorite meal of all time is rice and beans and thank God I live in the Dominican Republic because pretty easy to get around here. Where we're coming up now is a spot that I did uh, in the first couple weeks we were here. I invited everybody we knew and I did a surprise birthday party for my wife, Carissa, right here. You can see how they set this place up. It's right on the ocean, uh, playground for the kids. So kids get together on Friday evenings and the kids play. You see a trampoline right there kids play and then I'm going to show you as I move forward uh, the DJ booth. The DJ sets up and parents hang out, have a drink and chill. Uh, my good friend owns this, the same developer actually that owns the uh, ships, he uh, owns this as well. It's called Alizé. Super popular Friday evenings. Uh, just like a great family vibe. Highly, highly recommend you make it on over here on a Friday evening. Get to meet a, a lot of great people, like-minded people. And there's Alize. It's a hotel. Great spot to stay. We haven't personally stayed there yet, but uh, I've heard nothing but great stuff. And there's an indoor restaurant right there that's connected to the hotel. El Tomo is the name of the restaurant. Another view of their beach club. You can see there's a little bar set up there. Loungers, now again it's seven in the morning so everything isn't set up perfectly yet. 
But uh, they get everything set up out there. The bean bags, the loungers. I'm gonna pull up a little bit here and show you uh, the DJ booth. See right there, you can see through the trees there, there's uh, the DJ booth and right there is the dance floor. So people just have a blast. That entire area fills right up. First time we went there, I was blown away. Especially during uh, these times to be able to see people still socializing and dancing and enjoying their lives is, uh, is something special. I think something we took for granted for too long. Another view of Alize as we uh, keep going forward. And this is part of Alize as well. Cool little swing set. See kids on there in the afternoons always. Oh, that was my friend on the left that just passed. Uh, he just saw me, he just waved. Rob Fenton, great guy. Does a lot of woodworking in town. All right, let's keep moving forward. Look how they're driving in front of me. Everything looks like it's wild, but it's, it's very calculated and it's very safe and People actually are extremely cautious on the roads. It's just not what we're used to back in North America. So there's, uh, there's apartments on the left-hand side, uh, catching a glimpse there, some for rent, some for sale. Uh, nothing specific that I wanna showcase uh, on our site. We wanna focus on the pre-construction projects uh, and the luxury construction. So it's not really uh, something that we're interested in showcasing, but Definitely, if you're interested in knowing more about some of those projects, uh, we could definitely let you know. But you can have a look uh, at what some of these items look like. So here is a really, really cool spot. It was actually one of the first spots that I bought uh, pizza at. It cost me 200 pesos, and it was a wood-fired pizza that I absolutely love. It's my favorite, it's not my wife's favorite. My wife loves, uh, she loves industry pizza. Actually, industry pizza is uh, probably my favorite, but this is a close second. So they have a cool little ship that's up on the beach there. People get up there, they eat, they hang out. Uh, it's a nice vibe. Uh, they get the music going and it's connected to this hotel on the left hand side so it's an extension of that hotel right there great service great staff no complaints got a nice little uh tiki bar setup all that stuff opens up and uh you can grab whatever drink you want to grab there Prices are nice and fair. 100 to 150 pesos for a beer, something like that. There is the, uh, there's their oven. Their wood fire oven right there. They make those amazing thin crusts. It's a very, very thin crust pizza. All right, let's keep moving forward. This is where I want you to pay attention to how the beach starts to open up. The beach starts to open up sand starts to get lighter uh, it just starts to become something more and more magical as you get to the end There's a little bar here on the side. Um, you can get uh, a little bit of an older clientele there that hangs out and they do bocce ball. I'm not too familiar with the sport, but that place gets full and people are playing bocce ball out there. Uh, seems like a pretty cool vibe. 
I just haven't done it. But uh, if that's your thing, this is your spot. You want to come here. Pushes right out onto the right out onto the water. Beautiful views. You have this entire area on the side that is open for you know playing football or whatever it is. It's not part of the restaurant, but it's open to the public. Well, the entire beach is open to the public. Legally, all beaches are meant for everybody. So no beach can be private. What resorts, mega resorts do, which we don't have here in Los Terrenos, thank God, is uh, they block access to the beach. Uh, they make it challenging, So, but they have to leave pedestrian paths. So they make it hard to get there, uh, but they cannot block you from going there. So there is no private beach. 60 meters from the water is always public. As you can see how Las Bahenas is laid out, they've kept the entire thing, easy access, anybody can get to it. I love that about Las Trenas, spe specifically Playa Las Bahenas. So here's another uh, Aparth Hotel. It's uh, condominiums. They got some nice units in there. It's not pre-construction, existing construction. Uh, if you are interested in finding out a little bit more about what's available there, at the Palmera, uh, my wife could pull some information up for you on those properties. Beautiful design, we love it. There's a pool in the center. I love how they did their railings, the uh, nice aqua blue. And it's, uh, it's oceanfront. But it's beautiful. Little overcast today. I might get caught up in a little bit of a, a little bit of a sprinkle, but it's all, always welcoming to get that get that uh, little sprinkle on a hot day. So as you can see, ocean front again. There is a yoga class that is hosted every morning. I believe at eight a.m by an amazing yoga instructor. I believe her name is Anita. Uh, she's a wonderful woman. We were over at her house for dinner a few weeks back. She's an amazing cook as well. But she does a yoga session. I've seen 30 or, 30 or so people out there doing yoga with her. She does it right in front of this hotel. Sorry, I mean uh, condominiums. So let's move on forward. A big thing in Los Terrenos is ATVs. Uh, we purchased one already, but that's my main source of transportation, ATVs. Uh, if you love ATVing, this is where you need to come and move because uh, it's all about ATVs. So again, look at this beach, look at this setup. Uh, they've got that tent, they do a buffet style uh, brunch in there every day. As you can see, they're getting that all set up, ready to go. Again, look at the beach. It starts to widen up more and more and more as we get near the end. Here's a little convenience type of store on the side of the road. Pay attention to it if you just want to grab a quick beer or grab something in and out. It's a good spot to stop. Grab something if you don't feel like going into a restaurant. I've gone there a couple times. Good service. All right, so what we're coming up now, uh, we actually did my daughter's fourth birthday party at this spot. These guys were so helpful and uh, they did such an amazing job of helping everything get situated, everything get set up. Uh, we did it right there on the beach, right in front of us. We had about 20 of our close friends come and join us. The kids played in and out of the ocean the entire time, uh, played in the sand. Just a magical birthday party for our lovely four-year-old, Elle Marie. You'll see her in a lot of videos too. 
So there is the actual tiki bar that's set up on the beach. Wraps all the way around. You can get five beers for 500 pesos here. Again, five beers for 500 pesos. Great deal, Presidente, of course. Want a burger meal, 300 pesos here. 300 pesos, let's, uh, 100 pesos equivalent to about, I don't know, let's say two bucks, Canadian. A little less American. Look how beautiful that is. So my daughter's birthday party was set up right there. They lined up a bunch of tables, we had cake, they had food. Uh, it was perfect. So that is the waterfront part of this great project. Uh, again, this is existing construction, it's not pre, but uh, there's resales in there. Uh, again, our focus is pre-construction, but if you are interested, let us know. We can help you out. Look, so I'm gonna move bit. forward a little bit here. Can't we'll say enough for the staff, they're so the, helpful, they were great. The back area where the pool is and the garden area. Gives you a rough idea of what you would be uh, what you'd be seeing if you come here. Let these cars pass by. And there you go. Yeah. See how the the units run all the way back there. There's a nice uh, nice private area back there for their guests. Great spot. Highly recommend it. I just want to share this quick sign with you. It's giving some of the rates. For, uh, for taxis and stuff like that. I haven't really analyzed it too much, but uh, I just saw it leaning here on a tree and I thought I would go ahead and share it with you. Have a read. Get it a little closer so you can read it if you're trying to. So it's basically showing Lost Train is to the different areas to go to. I'll see if I can hunt down a link for you guys and uh, stick that in the description. General rule of thumb, uh, Moto Concho. In the city, 50 pesos, don't make the mistake like I did initially, I spent 500 pesos. So it's 50 pesos, tip included, uh, in the city. If you go outside the city, say from the city, you're gonna go to uh, Bonita, or you're gonna go to El Portillo, or in, in Braza, then you just, uh, that's 100 pesos. So that gives you a rough idea. Now what I'm showing you here, they're getting set up, like I said before, this is seven in the morning, so they're not fully set up. Uh, all these tables and chairs get spread out all across the beach here. This is one of my favorite spots. It's called Eden. A good friend of ours now, Carmela, she, uh, she manages the place. She's a sweetheart. You'll see her, she's always there. Uh, very attentive to customer service. Now, this, what I'm showing you here has new owners. They're completely redoing the entire space. It looks phenomenal. The grand opening is gonna be June 2nd. Carmela has said she's going to invite Chris and myself, so we're excited to uh, capture that for you guys. But this place is called Eden. It's, uh, it's beautiful. This is where, if you stay at the Apart Hotel Luisa, this is where you get your complimentary breakfast at. So we did stay at Luisa for a week when we first came down here. And uh, every morning we would sit right there on the beach and uh, enjoy breakfast. Uh, an amazing breakfast at that. So there's the entrance to it. Obviously you can enter from wherever you want, but there's the entrance and uh, I'm actually gonna park the quad and I wanna walk you to the beach here. I think it's a good time to take you in. I want to show you how this beach is opening up. And I want to show you how beautiful this is. This is 
one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my life. Hence why we decided to call Las Ballenas home. So there's the Tiki Bar. You usually find Carmela right there. Keeping an eye on, the, on everything. So you can see all the tables, all the white tables belong to Eden. And just look at how beautiful this is. So this is the beach, part of the beach that I run on. I run all the way down to Pablo Pescadores, those colorful buildings at the beginning. I run all the way down from there, all the way down. I'd say we got about a, I'd say a 5K run. So this is the view from the water. There's all the seating, we would sit right there, enjoy breakfast, Al would run back and forth to the ocean. Words or videos or photos just cannot describe how beautiful and how scenic this part of Las Terrenas is. Eden has done such a great job. Very, very happy at, uh, very, very happy anytime I come here and visit. Everything about, uh, from the food to the service to the ambiance, everything is just uh, perfectly executed upon. So again, this is where you would be enjoying a complimentary breakfast if you were staying at Luisa as a, uh, as a hotel, as a guest, a short stay guest. There's my quad. Let's hop on and keep moving. Another 10 or so minutes and we will be at the end of our tour of Playa Las Ballenas. So Luisa Parth Hotel is about 100 feet down there. So you go walk about 100 feet and uh, you're gonna be there. Now excuse a little dab on my screen, it's actually starting to sprinkle, you guys can't tell. Or maybe you can, I'm not sure, but it's starting to sprinkle a little bit so I got a little bit of water on my camera lens. I'm gonna take a second to clean that up. Okay, so I got my camera lens all cleaned up and we're gonna continue on our tour. So here's another, uh, we've never stayed here, I don't know too much about it. Uh, we are gonna reach out to them, but it seems like a nice little uh, oceanfront complex. Uh, there's a little bit of information there. We're going to be talking to, the, to them this week and find out what the scoop is. But uh, another cool little spot right there. All right. So as we leave Eden... Again, pay specific attention to how wide the beach starts to become again. It just starts to open up, open up, and uh, get lighter, and the palm trees get bigger. Uh, everything just starts to scream paradise. Notice the cobblestone path continues. See the biker in front of us. A lot of people run and jog up and down this uh, cobblestone path. I like to do it on the, on the beach, personally, but so look at this, see how that's just opening right up? It's a picturesque scene. Something you don't find easily in real life, unless you hop on a plane and come down to Los Terrenos. So now you're gonna see some villas. These are some really nice villas off on the left-hand side. Uh, some nicer than the others. Uh, some have been updated, some have not, but all of them are rented every single weekend. They rent for big dollars too, but they're huge. You can have uh, families of 20 staying in some of these over the weekend. I'm gonna try to get up high and see if we can see in uh, the back of that property there.
a little bit of construction happening on the left there. There's some uh, condos being built. I think they're going to be all rentals. And back to the beach. We're going to keep moving along. You can see people are getting set up for the day. They got the lawn chairs out. Not lawn chairs, the um, loungers are out, ready to go. So yeah, there's a massive development happening here. From what I understand, it's going to be all rental units. Uh, there's no pre-construction sales happening there. If something changes there, we'll let you know, but uh, to my understanding, it won't. But yeah, there's a, uh, you're going to see more villas as we move along on the left-hand side of the road. This little road goes back. There's more uh, villas back in there. Not oceanfront, but uh, a walk away. This one is always rented. Uh, one of my good friends did uh, did a lot of work on that one and remodeled it. So yeah, let's continue along. All right, so something I'm gonna point out here, you just see that person wave. Uh, the Dominican people are so welcoming. They are excited about us coming down to their beautiful country, becoming a part of their economy, helping support growth and facilitate it and they are just really pleasant pleasant people so the Ministry of Tourism does an amazing job with the entire beachfront every beach in Las Serenas uh, I think in the Dominican Republic for that matter the local community uh, they hire them and they get out there at the break of dawn and they sweep up rake up the entire beach they clean it up so when we head out there it's spotless it's clean all the seaweed has been picked up uh, and they do it with a smile and it's perfectly executed upon. Great job. Shout out to the Ministry of Tourism on uh, amazing execution there. Another very, very nice villa. If you're wondering price point on these villas, uh, million plus, let's say a million to uh, 1.5 kind of range is what I'm assuming. We do have luxury villas for sale on our site as well. We have a lot of property tours. I'll probably do in a couple tours of uh, the Las Bienas villas, luxury villas. Uh, we do have some on YouTube of uh, Esperanza Villas that we did some tours of that you can uh, check out. So yeah, see how wide that beach is getting? It's uh, probably at 500 feet. Uh, I'd say yeah, almost maybe two to 300 feet away from us now. Very, very popular on the weekends. But see the beautiful thing about Las Terrenas, I'm gonna walk out here with you guys and I'm gonna show you. Alright guys, so I'm almost at uh, the end of Playa Las Baenas. Uh, I just wanted to hop off the ATV and jump on camera for a second here. They kind of show you what we're seeing, how Las Baenas, as it comes towards the end, it transitions every step of the way, every 100 meters or so, the beach becomes more and more and more beautiful. So as you can see here, it's white sandy beaches now. Uh, the waves have completely tapered off. We've got an island here. Completely natural, no development on that island over there. Guts out into the middle, we're uh, right out, of, out to the reefs. Uh, the beach gets super wide, as you can see. This is the widest point of Playa Las Baenas. It becomes like 200 feet, 300 feet of beach. Uh, white sandy beach, and these are the views that are going on. The views are just mind blowing. Uh, the sun rises on the other side of the palm trees. Uh, got a little bit of a beautiful sprinkle happening right now. I don't know if you're catching that on camera, but that'll happen. You'll get a little cloud that shows up and it'll cool you off and there'll be a little bit of a sprinkle. And then uh, the blue skies are right behind you. So I just wanted to hop off, show you guys. 
Uh, one thing I spoke about earlier, but you can see everybody over there, the Dominican Republic Lost Trainers is just absolutely, they got, they do it right because they've got their uh, local, uh, their local team is cleaning up over there. And uh, every morning, bright and early, seven in the morning, we're about 7.30 in the morning right now. They clean this entire beach. They, they create piles and they get rid of it. So the beach is ready for you. You get up and you walk out to a perfectly clean beach. Uh, but yeah, okay, so right as we move along, end, here's uh, a right village. villa that's been uh, for sale for a while. I don't know exactly what's going on with that. I think there's uh, some challenges with that property, so it's uh, just kind of sitting. It might be sold now, it's But uh, look at this beach. Coming right to the end. Thanks for hanging in there for that entire tour, but I really want to give you a uh, full feel of what this drive feels like. Here's a great beach to talk about. You can here a couple times. talking about pizza a lot. There's a lot of options for pizza here in Las Vegas. And everybody does it pretty damn good. I know back in my hometown, Windsor, uh, we're proud of our pizza over there. And uh, Las Trenas is right there with us. Got people from all over the world, Italy, France, all these people making uh, world-class pizza. So that's a cool little spot to hang out at the end of uh, Bainas. And right now, I'm going to take you to my favorite spot at the end of Playa Las Planas. I'm saying hi to my friend right there. He's coming to say hi. Hola. Una espresso, por favor. Yeah, so there's my friend Raymond, and uh, I'm going to go over here and visit him and grab an espresso because I haven't had one yet. But yeah, look at these views. We sit out there on those picnic tables and uh, order your food, and they bring it out to you. And you really, really good. It all happens right there. See how he does up this espresso for me. Buenos dias, Raymond. Bien, bien, bien. Tú? Todo bien. So an espresso runs me sixty pesos. Sixty pesos. I'm looking at. Raymond. Under a buck. See. Under a buck for Una photo. an wow. amazing espresso. Uno, dos, tres. Perfect. So over there, I'm going to drive past that. That is the Marine Club. I think for about 5,000 pesos in and around there, don't quote me on it, but something close to that, you end up with a membership. Uh, and you can use any one of those boats anytime you want. And they do a Saturday class for children. So back to Raymond's shop here. He serves up all those amazing drinks, all those amazing cocktails. We've had almost every single one of them, luckily. And there's my espresso. Ready to rock. I'm gonna take a quick break and get that into me while these guys get this uh, area set up for the day. Hey guys, this is the way to enjoy an espresso in the morning. We don't do coffee shops here, we do beaches. No Starbucks, no Tim Hortons, just beaches and espresso. That's one thing I've really gotten uh, accustomed to here. Wasn't a big coffee drinker or espresso drinker back home, but the espressos here are so amazing. Uh, it's all Dominican coffee. It just blows away the stuff we're drinking at home, I'll tell you that much. So, uh, yeah, this is how you do a morning here in Las Serenas, beachside.
and we're off again guys so off to the left here is the marine club I was talking about the boat club here in Las Terrenas get access to all that stuff and uh, I don't have the exact prices but I somewhere in between five or ten thousand pesos so for like hundred to two hundred bucks you get a year-long membership and that gives you access to all of this equipment that you can take out into the ocean uh, any day they're open and they do a children's class for sailing on Saturdays so cost of living uh, there's gonna be a video we'll do on cost of living but that's a great example cost of living quality of life for hundred to two hundred dollars you are a member of that amazing sailing club you have access to that equipment right out there as well those sailing boats uh, quality of life cost of living all those things uh, tie together it's hard to have great quality of life if you can't afford uh, the things that bring you joy and happiness uh, Las Trinas because of that cost of living factor being so much lower than North America you can enjoy so many uh, great events and family time doing really really cool stuff together so this is basically what we're looking at here is the final restaurant before we get to our destination which is Bonita Village that is what I like to call the Beverly Hills of Las Terrenas. Uh, completely secured area, but uh, we're almost there. So this is the end of Playa Las Baenas. Really appreciate you guys hanging on and coming for this drive. It took a little bit longer because uh, I wanted to stop and kind of give you guys an idea of the different things you see on the way down, the different restaurants, uh, the different hotels the different condo opportunities uh but yeah thanks uh for taking along on that ride we're almost done i'm gonna take you guys right up to the security gate so let's keep moving you can see the beach continues on the right hand side you can see exactly how beautiful that is how natural it is you've got the little palm trees that are growing. You've got the island that is completely wild on the left-hand side. There's no development inside that little island on the left. But look at how wide and beautiful that beach is. You have people later on today, there'll be uh, towels underneath those palm trees and people taking naps and kids playing. Uh, just the beach comes alive. You can see how clean it is. Everything is manicured, everything is taken care of. Let's keep going down this path. There's uh, the sign for the Ministry of Tourism. Big shout out to the Dominican Republic and the Ministry of Tourism. Just an amazing job keeping these beaches clean, putting a task force in place to do so. Great work. This is uh, one massive villa at the end of Bayanis. Uh, always rented out on the weekends. Large, large families. If you have a big family uh, and you want that, reach out to us. We can uh, make a couple phone calls and put you in the right direction. But yeah, here we go. We're entering into Bonita Village. Entering the entrance. There's a natural spring that's coming in off the mountains. When it rains, you'll see that flowing. Curve around here and uh, we're going to head towards that entrance. Look how beautiful that is. It's so natural, so untouched. And that's what makes Las Terrenas what we believe is going to be the premier destination in the entire Caribbean. This is Bonita Village. You have 24-7 security that stands at that gate. Okay, and you have that beautiful pool that is just off the ocean that we have access to whenever we want. Uh, you would just come through that gate right there and head out onto the ocean. Beautiful manicured grounds. If you look up into the hill, you can see Bonita Village. That's why I call it Beverly Hills of Las Trenas. Million dollar villas up there. Condos. Apartments. People live there. People rent there. It's just immaculate and that's where we're going to be calling home here in a few months it's currently end of may mother's day actually here in the dominican republic 
we're forecasting about three to four months we should be in there. So here's the path in. See how lush we're going right through the uh, right through the jungle. Off to the right there, there's another villa up there. It's not part of Bonita Village, but it's another villa up there. Multi-million dollar place, uh, gets rented out a lot. You can see somebody walking. People are very health conscious here in Los Trinos. They're always walking, they're always running, they're working out. Uh, it's just the environment lends itself to a great quality of life and just uh, ambition to get out there, run and be physically active. So on the left here, these are also available for sale. They are not pre-construction, uh, so not our focus for our company, but uh, they are available for sale and for rent. If interested, let me know, we can get some info. They're uh, lower on the price point range. All right, so now we've arrived. Here's Bonita Village, guys. Finally, we made it here. You can see how beautiful that drive is, coming down to a secure, gated community that we're gonna be calling home here in a few short months. Security guard there is a great guy. Uh, so welcoming when I come in, you can see. He's being a little camera shy, so he's hiding off on the side, but uh, the Dominican people are just amazing, and they're so friendly and so kind. Okay, this is a back view of our villa. We're up at the top there. We have two floors. We have the penthouse unit, the largest unit in this building. And uh, we have a terrace on our main floor and we have a rooftop terrace with the pool. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna make that journey up and kind of walk you through it. So now we're gonna be taking this private road all the way up to the top of Bonita Village. Here's the first villa on the right hand side, towers above the road, beautifully manicured grounds to the right and left. On the left hand side you are seeing the villas that are two and three bedrooms, they surround the pool area that is located in front of the ocean. Here's a second villa on the right hand side. Absolutely beautiful as you can see. We're gonna keep making our way up. We're passing by villa number three. Perched up, high above the road. The video doesn't do justice again to the scale. When we're looking up at these villas, they're about 100 feet up in the air. Now we're coming up on the villas that are located on the golf course. Uh, it's a small R3 golf course. That is over here on the left. These are brand new villas that are being built right on the par 3 golf course. Right here you'll get a better view of the par 3 golf course. The villas are very, very modern. As you can see here, there's work being done. There is a security guard. There's multiple security throughout this property. To get to our villa, we pass four, I believe. As you can see, construction happening as we speak. This is early on a Saturday morning. They're gonna be putting up a villa right there. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you is, uh, look at all the mangoes that are on the road here. One of the beautiful things about Las Trenas is the amount of fresh fruits that are everywhere. Bananas, mangoes, papaya, you, you mentioned it, but look at the amount of mangoes that have literally fallen out of the trees. All right, now we're gonna head on even higher. There's a villa perched up on the hill there. We're, gonna, we're at about a 25 
degree incline as we're going up this hill. We're gonna go all the way up and curve around and continue right to the top. Look at these beautiful views from the road here to the left. If you look through there, you can see all these hilltops, mountains in the background. You can see the villas up on the mountains and the hilltops. The views just get amazing. Those hilltops are probably 2,000 feet up in the air. Look at that beautiful villa I just perched up high up. And this is one of the beautiful things about Lost Terrain is it's not just ocean front, it's hillside as well. That gives you ocean views, amazing ocean views. All right, we'll keep moving up the hill. This is a pretty famous villa, C21. A lot of celebrities rent this villa out. At, uh, many affluent guests will come and stay here often. You can see there's another security guard right there. We're gonna keep heading on up the hill. Again, another 20, I'd say this one's probably a 30 degree incline. We're heading up the mountain. Casa Mango is on the left right here. Another gorgeous hilltop villa that we pass on the way up to our place. Look at all the ATVs parked up in the driveway. Like I was saying, it's a really quite a big deal. Now that villa right there, Esfrica, if I'm pronouncing it right. That is one of the highest priced villas in all of Las Terrenas. We'll keep on going up the hill. We're gonna to start to see some beautiful views here very shortly. If you look through the trees there, those are the villas that are located on the par three golf course that we were looking at a few minutes earlier. You can see how far up the hill we've come. Look at the landscape. Look at the mountains in the background. Absolutely beautiful. And we're continuing onwards. We're coming up on more villas that are located at the hilltop. Some of these villas to the right were the villas we could see as we were passing on the lower street. This is the entrance point. Okay, so now if you can look into the background there, you're starting to see Playa Las Bayanas again. You're starting to see the ocean. This villa right here is owned by an Italian who frequents uh, every so often, a few times a year. I haven't met him yet, but I've heard uh, good things. This is our neighbor. And now we are coming up Villa Lore, the newest addition to Bonita Village. At the top, the top two floors is our penthouse. This is the back parking area. I'm going to go ahead and 
switch to a live feed here of the recording I did when I re when I got to this site and give you a better explanation. Standing here at uh, what is going to be our future home. This is Villa Lore, and I'm just doing a quick walkthrough to kind of see where we're at with construction. We are about three months out from full completion, so I'm going to do a quick walkthrough with you guys, and I'm going to show you exactly uh, how things are looking. Okay, so come with me, and I'm going to walk through our apartment, and then I'm also going to walk through my neighbor's apartment, who's uh, one of my good friends now, and I'm going to give him a quick update. He's out in St. Martin, actually. So I'm gonna walk through and uh, post this video and he'll be able to have a look at uh, what's going on with his place and I'm gonna give you a tour of ours. So enjoy. See how things are done here in Las Terrenas. All right, so here's a quick uh, parking lot. This is gonna be our parking lot right here, okay? It's gonna be private parking. There's going to be where I parked my ATV. There's gonna be a privacy uh, security gate that opens and closes right there so this will be completely private uh, I believe they're gonna have some pergola put up here for some shaded for some shade over the parking okay and a couple cool features to notice here is we have a mango tree we're graced by that so we have a mango tree that literally will will bear fruit for us and uh, we can have fresh mango whenever we want really cool you can see all the tile how it comes in it all comes in from Italy it's all Coralina and this is gonna be our main main entrance for our place there's only two units on this top floor uh, and again, we have the uh, the larger one of the two it is uh, approximately we're close to 4,000 square feet okay and uh, we're overlooking the uh, overlooking the water. We have amazing water views, uh, so I'm going to give you a tour of that first. So I haven't been here in about a week, so I'm anxious to have a look and see what what we've accomplished. All right, so to be our main door, you walk in to our terrace. Okay, we say terrace, they say terrace. So as you can see, the terrace, the grouting is done. They're going to be doing a final grind down of the floor here and then polishing it, it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. That's Coralina up here. This is the view from our terrace on the main floor. We have two floors. So as you can see, we've got a tennis court down there. This is for our complex. So I'm probably gonna start doing some tennis lessons. I don't know if many of you know, but I used to uh, play tennis back at Ball State on a scholarship. So uh, yeah, I might start doing that again. So that's gonna be really nice and convenient. This is gonna be our common area, common ground down here. So back to the apartment. So this is our large, massive terrace outdoor. We're probably gonna live out in this area. And then we're going into into our unit, okay? We're gonna have large glass doors here, top to bottom. This will be our kitchen. We're gonna have our island, the 10 foot island along there. Our cabinetry is gonna be right there. All up along the wall, they start doing some measuring. A staircase will go up there in a minute. That takes us up to our rooftop, uh, rooftop terrace and the uh, additional rooms that we have up there. So I'm going to walk through, show you Elle's room, doing a little bit of work over. Hold on, hold on. Got a little bit of sweeping in here, getting it clean, the bathroom is done. So you can see all this is all crowded. We still have to do the shower floor. Let's move it along. Here is, we haven't decided what we're gonna do with this. This might be Chris's closet, or it is going to be an office, or it's gonna just be a, a guest room. We haven't figured that out yet. We're still trying to decide how we're gonna lay this place out. So, this also has a three-piece bathroom, shower, vanity, 
toilet. Okay, and I'm gonna take you over to the master bedroom. Look how beautiful that terrace is gonna be. All oh, that space. This is gonna be wide open glass doors. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, now we're coming up. They're still doing some work, as you can see. They're doing some tiling, a little bit of grinding back there. But this is the master bedroom. I'm gonna walk you in this way. We had asked, requested the developer to cut us an opening up here that will put some natural light into that bathroom, that master bathroom. We got a double shower set up. Okay, we got our nice large vanity, double, double sink in here. Okay. Huge vanity. Private toilet area. Okay. And then we've got our double shower. So as you can see, we're gonna have a double shower. It's gonna be our cavity right there where we're gonna be able to put our toiletries and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we'll have a double rainfall shower in here. And this is what is awesome about this master bedroom. It is, look at the size of that window. Okay. So you wake up to these views every single day. And this jungle is as lush as can be. Now the other thing uh, is there is the community pool. You see the guys working down there. Plumbers down there, electricians down there. Uh, that's going to be a beautiful view. It's going to be a waterfall feature. So I uh, can't tell, this is all it. It's going to be a waterfall feature right there. Okay. And this will be common space, common area. all the way underneath. We'll have a gym on that floor as well. And there we'll have a gym as well. I'm gonna take you up to the terrace now. So we got about 2,000 square feet down here. And then this is gonna be all solid wood. We're gonna do a wood finish instead of a Coralina on these just to keep it less slippery. And now we're going up to the Million dollar views. This is what this place is all about right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this space first. We're debating what we're gonna do. We're, we're planning on having a nice simple setup here. Kitchen cabinetry, our friend Guillermo is finishing that up. Uh, we'll, we'll put a little fridge, uh, some cabinets, a little sink as you can see. Getting ready to put a little sink in here. And uh, it'll be usable for the terrace. We might make this an office as well though. So we're not sure. Uh, this is gonna be when guests come over, they're gonna come up the stairs and this is their guest, small guest bathroom. Just a simple two piece. All of our pool equipment, which I'm gonna show you in a second. All of our pool equipment is gonna be set up in here as well as our laundry machine. So that's gonna be uh, very, very useful. So now we're gonna be walking out into this space. I'm gonna try to save the, the shot of the view for last. Okay, and here is a, here's, this is going to be, I think we're, we're going to spend most of our time. This is designed to be a master bedroom, but we're not going to do it as a master bedroom. We're going to do it as a, uh, probably our living space. I think we're going to more so live up here than, uh, more, I think we're going to live up here a lot more than we think. This is supposed to be, so when I said this was designed as a master bedroom, this was a master closet. Okay, nice big space for a closet, and then the beautiful bathroom coming off of that. So as you can see, that would be your toilet. We've got a nice big shower here. Okay. And then your vanity area. Ceilings are not as high here. They're still like, I'd say seven feet. Uh, downstairs, I think we're at like 12, 12 feet. Okay. We're putting uh, screens on all of our windows. Most people don't do that, but you know, we're still North American at heart. So we're gonna be doing that. So they're gonna be putting screens in. Uh, another cool feature of what we're doing here, we changed the design, we worked with uh, Nicola, the architect, and Jose Manuel, the developer, and we, uh, we decided that what we're going to do is put, move our doors from here, our sliding glass doors, we're, we're making a solid wall all the way down here, all the way down, uh, so we have one big sliding glass door, uh, essentially making the upstairs part of the downstairs by doing that we've achieved that and uh, these doors will open right up but if we want them all closed we close the entire area off to uh, this beautiful terrace that I'm going to show you now so have a look at this terrace they just put the pergola in 
Okay, we've got about 1,500 square feet under this pergola. And if you look off there, well, I haven't seen that yet. It's the first time I've seen it in a week. Got a lot done. Look at our stairs going up to. What I'm gonna show you here, this is what is beautiful and completely mind-blowing about uh, this amazing place that we purchased. There are these stairs. They're gonna lead you right up. One, two, three, four. They're gonna lead you right up into this. Wow, they got that done as well. I haven't been here in a little bit. So this is gonna be our large pool. That's our personal pool on our rooftop terrace. Right here is where we're gonna have our uh, infinity pool feature. So the water's gonna trickle off. So if you can imagine, evenings like that, just seeing the water pour off of there. Oh, and then the other feature, which is pretty amazing, you can see this pipe coming out. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be one large waterfall that's going into the pool. We're gonna have uh, seating on the outer edge. We're gonna have seating along this edge and we're gonna have a little section here as well that you can uh, just rest in maybe about two feet deep. That's all it's gonna be so perfect for little kids. Uh, then this is, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this now. This is what we would be looking at. So you sit in that pool. And I've said this numerous times, videos and pictures don't do justice. You have to come here. You really, really just have to come here. Uh, but this is what you're going to be seeing. So, you're looking at mountaintops, and you're looking at the ocean. See the views of the ocean. It's a little bit of a cloudier day here. I don't know if you can see. I'll try to get my finger in there for you. Yeah. This is the views that you're going to be seeing from here. Way to the far step, right side of the step. You can see beautiful Playa Las Ballenas. See the sandy beach right there. So basically, guys, if you're standing here next to me, all you'd be seeing is uh, the blue of the ocean marrying right in with the blue of the sky. Uh, and it's mind-blowing. Now on the other side of us, what we have over here, which is our neighbor on that side, you can see the, mount the mountains over in Cason. In the background, in the backdrop over there. And we're just surrounded by natural beauty. It's all jungle. So guys, this is, uh, this is what $400,000 gets you in beautiful Las Trenas. 4,000 square foot penthouse unit looking at the ocean in the mountains uh, with your personal tennis court. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is gonna be a large garden that they've set up. So this is all gonna be garden. Uh, Chris is talking about planting a banana tree in there because apparently a banana tree is not a tree, it's more of a plant. And that will grow perfectly in here. So we're gonna have uh, fruits, veggies, a banana tree in there, and uh, it's just gonna be absolutely paradise. So yeah, this is what uh, what $400,000 can get you here in Las Serenas. Uh, reach out to us. We'll do our best to help you out. The market has really taken off. The deals are still here. Relative to the entire Caribbean, uh, everything here is a steal. Absolutely a steal. But relative to the Caribbean, uh, prices are... We're, we're going to catch up with the rest of the Caribbean. I think we're going to bypass it because Las Serenas is has so much more to offer. Dominican Republic has so much more to offer, but specifically Las Terrenas is going to boom. Uh, it's gonna be, I believe, the premier destination in the entire uh, Caribbean islands. It's going to catch everybody. So now is your time, guys. Get in, give us a call. That's why we decided to move here. That's why we decided uh, to launch our business. I think if we can share this, these dreams and you know share this experience with as many people as possible and show them that there's a way out you don't need to be in the rat race you can get out uh yeah you're gonna work here but working in paradise is hell of a lot different than working in uh somewhere that is not classified as paradise so guys this is what it's all about man there's the pool again see how high up we are
All right, so that ends our tour. Brought you all the way down Playa Las Baenas. Brought you into Bonita Village. And then brought you over to our future home that's gonna be done as of uh, today, we're at the end of May. So we're supposed to be done um, end of August, mid-September here. And then uh, I'll be doing all my videos and everything from, uh, from this beautiful view. So that's it guys. Don't take, don't waste time. Life is short and time flies by and you think you're going to do something and you plan on doing it and then you wanna do it when you retire. There's always an excuse. Uh, there's always, always an excuse to wait. There's always a reason why you say, not now, let's wait till. It's always an if then, if then, if then. That if then is what will uh, bypass you and you won't make the move when you should have made it or when you do make it. Uh, you've missed some opportunities. You've missed precious time. And you need to come and visit us. You need to see what this is all about. And I don't think it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna take you guys too long to make that decision. That, Las Trinas is the place to be. That's what we believe for our family. So remember everyone, life is short. Love where you live. Talk to you soon.